Uh, hi, I'm going to present dev pack uh, for Spring. Um, this is a classic confinement snap that packages Spring CLI with some canonical additions. Uh, Spring CLI allows bootstrapping a new Spring project with boot init command, cloning existing Spring projects with a boot new command, merging existing projects with a boot add command, and ability to declare user-specific commands to perform tasks such as controller creation, dependency addition, and file configuration. In addition to upstream Spring CLI functionality, the Snap version provides the following features. Offline installation of Spring project libraries, running pre-configured plugins for Maven and Gradle projects, and exporting build and runtime OCI images for the user's uh, projects. I have used uh, divpack for Spring Boot Start command uh, to create a new Spring Boot project. It uses Gradle, Java 21, and Spring Boot uh, 3.4.4. Divpack for Spring allows installation of rebuilt binaries of Spring project libraries. They are configured to be used with Gradle and Maven builds. Uh, so we have created the Spring Boot project using uh, Spring Boot 3.4.4, and it depends on Spring Framework 6. So we can install uh, those two components and they will be available from the get-go. They won't be downloaded from the Maven Central. Though the dependencies for them will be downloaded. The snaps can be either specified on the command line, so give pack for spring, snap, install name of the snap, or we can use the uh, menu that is provided if you just print give pack for spring install without any parameters. Actually, any other command uh, follows the same logic. So if you don't enter optional parameters, uh, the Spring CLI will prompt for them. Having the dependencies downloaded speeds up build somewhat, um, but if uh, your project references uh, a lot of external libraries, uh, the difference will be negligible. Another feature of Defpack for uh, Spring Snap is the ability to run build plugins without uh, modifying the main uh, build scripts. So at the moment, uh, there are only two plugins that are supported. Those are IO Spring Java Format that formats your project sources, and IO GitHub Rockcrafters uh, Rockcrafters Rockcraft. Uh, that uh, allows uh, to export OCI images for building and running the Spring applications using Ubuntu Rocks. So uh, let's try to add uh, some actual code uh, to the initial example. So we'll add a REST controller and a dependency of Spin Boot Starter uh, Web um, so that it compiles. We'll paste some intentionally mal uh, formatted code and then format it uh, using the Defpack for Spring plugin format. And as you can see, the file was reformatted according to Spring guidelines. Uh, Rockcraft plugin uh, provides following functionality. It allows you to export dependencies of your project, create a container that allows you to build your project, and create a runtime chiseled image of your Swing application. Uh, for Gradle, we have to use Rockcraft plugin because, unlike Maven, Gradle doesn't provide an official plugin to export dependencies. The dependencies are stored in the Maven repository format, um, and they can be used later in offline builds of your application. The build, the chisel build image is created using uh, push build rock uh, task, and here you can see that we can push uh, the build rock and then run the Docker build uh, of our application, which produces a Spring application that we can run. Uh, the uh, build rock is a very minimal image, uh, so it only contains uh, headless OpenJDK, uh, JIT, and BusyBox to provide uh, common uh, utilities. Uh, push rock uh, 
push the image to the local uh, docker daemon and we can also call a uh, build rock to just build the OCR archive and then using rockcraft uh, scopio utility to copy it uh, to whatever destination we need. To run the build we mount the current directory in the docker container using current user, user ID. There is a little workaround that we use, we pass pebble environment variable um, to allow Pebble Service Manager that's present in every Ubuntu rock to create temporary files. The Gradle build runs within the Docker container and we can see that it produces the output in the build directory. Visual Studio Code provides an extension uh, to use dev containers. A dev container is a container that contains all the necessary bits and pieces to run your application. A chiseled base uh, is not uh, sufficient for this extension uh, because Visual Studio Code installs Visual Studio Code server inside the container, so we need to use a full Ubuntu base. Uh, to do that, uh, we unfortunately have to modify uh, the build script, so we'll add uh, Rockcrafters plugin and we'll add a YAML snippet that overrides default values for the build rock. In this case, we set up Java Home, we use full Ubuntu uh, base, and we install OpenGDK 21 GDK as a build package. In the uh, future release, we will add functionality. Uh, to do that with a single command without any, adding anything uh, to the build. What we are missing is the ability to save uh, configuration uh, files uh, to a temporary location uh, so that we could uh, configure it for the Gradle build. Um, uh, the resulting container is twice as large, uh, so as you can see we had uh, 400 megabytes for the chilled uh, base and for the uh, full Ubuntu base, we have uh, 900 uh, megabytes in the container. Uh, now we uh, use uh, Visual Studio command open in the container and we open our project within the dev container and we can open a terminal. Um, so you can see we are now Ubuntu user and we can call Gradle boot run to run our application. Uh, the dependency is already there, but Gradle needs to initialize itself, build its uh, project uh, files. And in a few seconds, we have our uh, Spring Boot application running. Last but not uh, least bit of functionality is the ability to create a chiseled runtime for your Spring Boot application. Uh, this can be done via uh, Rockcraft uh, plugin command uh, build rock to create the CI archive or push rock to create the archive and push it to the local uh, docker uh, daemon. It takes a little bit of time for the Rockcraft uh, to run and I can talk about uh, what will be in the image meanwhile. So in the image uh, there will be a chiseled uh, dependencies of OpenJDK, JLink image uh, for your application and the application itself. Um, and here we can see that we have this Dima image built and we launch our uh, Sprint application and we can navigate to the uh, greeting page and see that it responds. Thank you very much uh, for listening and that's the end of the demo.